guys welcome back to another video and today i will be talking about creamy fragrances in my collection so i like creamy smelling perfumes even before i love the scent of milk i like the scent of whipped cream anything creamy it doesn't have to be sweet so there are several notes that makes a perfume creamy aside from whipped cream itself milk mousse several notes 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 i noticed are combinations of sandalwood tube rose, gardenia, or frangipani. There could be more, but those are mostly notes that I have tried that makes the perfume creamy. So some actually have none of these notes, but I still find them creamy. Maybe it's just me. So in this video, I'm going to share with you fragrances that I have tried or fragrances in my collections that I find creamy, whether it's gourmand or non-gourmand scents. So first is, when I say creamy, the first thing that comes in my mind in my collection is this one. So this is the first creamy perfumes that I have noticed in my collection. So this one is Katy Perry's Meow. So this one is such a delicious, sweet, creamy scent. So this one is a gourmand scent. So I do have a lot of sweet fragrances in my collection, but it doesn't mean they are creamy. But this one is such a creamy caramel scent perfume. There is no caramel in here. There's vanilla, but I'm not getting a vanilla scent in here. It's more to me like a caramel and there is a pear in the background which i like it's like a fruity creamy gourmand scent this one has a gardenia and there's a sandalwood as well i'm thinking maybe that what makes this perfume creamy but this is really delicious i don't find this cloying at all actually although yes this is kind of a juvenile scent but this one is really delicious so i heard some feed feedback that this is just similar to viva la juicy well in my opinion i don't find them similar at all maybe cousins maybe in same family since they're both juvenile they both sweet they both had that caramel vibe in there but i do find viva la juicy caramel and plasticky scent well this one is a lot creamier this one it doesn't have caramel but smells like caramel with a pear in it so i think that's the difference i like this one better though than viva la juicy so next is um this one is versace's versen so this one is a citrusy creamy scent so this one is a blast of citruses in the opening so it isn't just a lemon or lime kind of citrus but it's just a sweet citrus but like a creamy it's like an ice cream like a sorbet it's like an ice cream with a sprinkle of nuts on top it is sweet but it isn't that all sweet feminine scent at all it's i think this is even a unisex perfume it's like a citrus creamy sweet scent so next is burberry body edp so this one is more of like a peach rose um, dominated perfume but i find this one creamy i don't know why but i find it creamy there is a sandalwood in the dry down perhaps that's the one that's making it creamy but the first time when i smell it in a bottle the moment i spray it there is a creaminess in it it's like a fruity it's like a rosy peachy creamy scent to me almost like a body lotion on my skin i find this one soft and creamy but not creamy like gourmand or creamy like milky it's more like a body cream this dries down into a skin scent it's more like just your skin but smells nice doesn't smell like perfume but a nice smelling skin a little sensual a little creamy and sweet next is guest seductive noir i really love this perfume this is like a cheapy but goody kind of perfume the scent is way more expensive than the price this one is a dark creamy scent i love wearing this one so i think the name fits the scent it really is seductive it's dark it's sweet and it's creamy it has a little bit of like a smoky velvety vibe in it as well so the sage and the bergamot in the opening makes it a little citrusy and spicy but quickly fades into something sweeter nuttier i find it thick it's rich it's creamy something dark and sexy in this perfume so next is my new favorite fragrance at the moment i can't stop wearing it for now so i've been looking for a milky creamy type of fragrance and i found it in lux rush by paris hilton so i saw it has a lot of um creamy combinations of notes in here it has frangipani it has tube rose it has sandalwood and it has milk mousse so the milk mousse got me in there so i'm just trying my luck I blind bought it hoping that I will get that milky creamy scent in here and I did. I was lucky enough to get that scent in this perfume. So what I like about this perfume is I didn't have to wait for dry down to get that milky creamy scent. It's there even in the opening. So the opening you get a little bit of floral, citrus floral kind of scent but the milky scent is already there. It's lingering in the background from the opening until to the dry down it really smells like milk to me it's so lactonic it just gets creamier and milkier until the dry down it just can't get 
enough of this perfume if you like lactonic scent if you like creamy milky type of scent then you must try this one next one is a floral scent which i find creamy in the dry down so this one is a sample beautiful bell by estee lauder so i'm not really a big fan of floral scent but this one surprised me this one reminds me of a beautiful spring day wedding day on spring so this one is not that um bitter kind of a sickening type of floral which i don't like in some floral scent this one is very inoffensive such beautiful perfume really the name fits the scent it is such a delightful likable scent i would say so the opening is quite refreshing and delightful i'm glad i got the lychee in here i love the scent of lychee and then you got the creamy white florals and the marzipan give it like a nutty sweet kind of scent i'm really surprised at this perfume i didn't thought that i would love such floral scent and i didn't thought it would transform into something sweeter and nutty and creamier in the dry down and it did last a long time on me usually soft floral scent won't won't do, does not have a lasting power on me but this one actually surpassed the five hour like average and longevity of floral soft florals on my skin this lasted me for about eight hours that's beautiful bell beautiful indeed i'm planning to get like a um, bigger bottle of this one so next is donna aqua by valentino so this one is another love at first sniff so it has two of my favorite um perfume note it has almond it has pear both detectable in this perfume which i think i'm the main notes that i could detect in this perfume so pear it gives me that juicy refreshing sweet fruity scent i just love it it's, it feels youthful to me it has a bubble gummy sweet kind of scent in the opening it's more fruity to me though and then later on it becomes sweeter and nuttier i could get the almond in there already which is something that i've been looking forward to in this perfume and then the frangipani gives it more like a sweeter warm kind of vibe and then it gets creamy it gets like a delicious kind of almond scent frangipani adds the warmth and the creaminess in this perfume as well so next one is vera wang's princess so look at that princessy bottle with that crown and ring as the cap so i put a dent on this one as well so there was a time that i keep on wearing this one even now when i revisited it i still love the perfume this one is such a light very feminine kind of fragrance really like a refined type of princess that's what i could imagine so it has a chocolate dark chocolate in here so if you're expecting a very sweet chocolatey kind of gourmand scent no it isn't this one is like a bitter sweet the chocolate in here is bitter same scent as a dark chocolate that you can get in the store it's like a fruity a bitter kind of sweet and there's a creaminess in it as well especially when it gets into your skin when the dry down it becomes like a soft creamy skin scent i just love this perfume i don't see it as a useful fragrance despite of the bottle in it and the name princess i don't think this is a juvenile scent i think any um age range could actually enjoy this perfume this is like a lady like perfume i could imagine someone like a kind refined such a very well-mannered kind of lady wearing this perfume so next is Mariah Carey's M. So this one is another perfume that surprised me. This one is another sweet and dark scent. Reminds me of a bonfire and a marshmallow. That's exactly how I could describe it. It's smoky and it's sweet. By the way, mine has an orangey um, liquid inside, like an amber kind of um, color in it. Because I've read somewhere that some people are getting different um, feedback or different... Um, reviews on this perfume so i've read that um there is a reformulation in this one so this one with the orange uh, liquid inside is more of like the original um, version of it and the reformulated one is the clear because i've noticed that one as well there are several um, bottles on this one different bottle different color of liquid i noticed there is clear as well so i'm not sure i'm not so particular with the formulation ingredients i'm not an expert of perfume sort of those kinds of things as long as i love the scent i don't doesn't matter to me if it's a reformulation or what so i'm not sure what version is this but i do love the scent that's in here so this isn't as love at first sniff at first i did not like this perfume i was looking forward for like the marshmallow the usual 
candy like sweet marshmallow type of scent and i didn't get it at first i was like this is kind of like a weird kind of fragrance but when i the more i wear it the more i understand the scent is actually a very a sophisticated kind of fragrance not the usual sweet type of scent this is a little bit a sweet there's a, a bit an aquatic a salty vibe in this it's like a bonfire near the sea with a marshmallow that's what i could that's, that could get in this perfume it's smoky it's a little dark bonfire at night bonfire at night can you have bonfire at daytime of course you can why not but this is more of like a nighttime bonfire with a marshmallow by the sea all those scents combined salty sweet smoky and it gets creamier when it gets into your skin the dry down in here becomes more sweeter and creamier with a hint of like a smoky dark vibe in the background so the last creamy fragrance is not in my collection but i did have a decant of it long time ago and it is alien by mugler so that perfume that time when i have it i had a bunch of decants with me together with that perfume and i did not um I did not quite notice the scent of that perfume. It did not wow me. It's not something that leave a mark. I did not, could not remember the scent of it. But when I tried it recently, that perfume, I wore it for a day. I didn't wear any perfume that time. I actually love it. I just realized that I don't have the decan. <laughs> that was the last drop of my decan. That's the time I realized that I actually love it. I bet it's the, it's, the, it's the opening that I hated in this perfume. That's why I was not able to appreciate this the first time. But when I waited, just waited for the dry down, oh, it's so heavenly. I fall in love with this perfume. I want an alien bottle now. Not just the bottle is beautiful, but the scent. It is, there's like sort of creaminess in there, but not gourmand type of creaminess. It's creamy and it's a little bit clean as well. It's almost like soapy to me. It lasts a long time on me, which I'm happy about because I love the dry down. I'm glad it lasted on me and especially on my clothes, it smells so nice. Because I cannot stop thinking about the scent. I feel like I want an alien bottle now. I run out of the decant anymore. So maybe that's gonna be my first very Moogler perfume, hopefully. So those are all my creamy fragrances in my collection and there are some um, creamy fragrances that I wanted to try as well. One of them is Kenzo, the one in Kenzo World. Oh, Kenzo. Kenzo with a colored bottle, the one looks like a vase. So that one has a rice nose in there. I find rose, uh, rose, rice interesting notes as well. I like the scent of rice. I find that one creamy as well another one is private show by britney spears so that one has whipped cream so for sure it's gonna be creamy and there's a leche leche something sounds delicious note as well so i've been wanting to try that perfume so hopefully it's gonna be my next celebrity perfume purchase so any more creamy fragrance recommendation let me know down below and what are your favorite creamy fragrances thank you for watching and see you again next time